Hey everyone, I'm Scott with Trail Power, and today I want to give you an update on the Anchor 767 and an issue that's come up with the AC outlets. It turns out that some of the units that left the factory had wiring that was done incorrectly. The hot wire and the neutral wires were reversed, leading to that reverse polarity condition. And this only happens when the unit is connected to AC power. So I want to show you how you can test that and find out if your unit is affected. So on my unit, it is affected, and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, this is an AC power tester or an outlet tester and what you do with this is you just plug this into an AC outlet and it will tell you if it's wired correctly. So you turn on the power on your inverter and then go ahead and plug this into the outlet and you'll see here that I have a yellow and a red light lit up. Now that means on my particular tester that means that it does have a reverse polarity condition and that the neutral and the hot wire have been reversed. And so this is a problem, this needs to be returned to anchor. This only appears if you're plugged into AC power. So here you can see if I unplug this, the condition changes to two yellow lights. And if I look at the little label on the top of my tester, two yellow lights means that it's correct. So whatever's causing this condition internal to the anchor is only happening on pass-through power. It's not happening with the inverter. So you gotta make sure that when you test, you have AC power connected. And when you do that, if you see that red light, that means that you have an issue and that this needs to be returned to Anchor for replacement. So I contacted Anchor when I discovered this and they were actually pretty awesome about it. If you go into the Anchor app, call that number, talk to support, tell them what you have here. What they did with me is they had me send photos of this so that they could see the condition and they had their engineers review that and then within an hour or two they got back to me and told me that it didn't need to be returned and they would send me a replacement. So they sent me a FedEx shipping label and they're replacing it with a brand new Anchor 767. So if you have one of these units, you're gonna to wanna to test it. It's really easy and pretty painless, and I really do appreciate the fact that Anchor was so good about it. Um, does this erode my confidence in Anchor, or does it change my buy rating on the 767? Absolutely not. Uh, I've found that today it's really hard to find customer service, customer support that's truly responsive and doesn't try and weasel out of responsibility. Anchor stood right up, took responsibility, said, yep, we screwed up. We're going to send you a brand new unit. And so that just gives me more confidence in them because, you know, every, every product you buy, I don't care if it's from Apple or Tesla or whomever, when you have high-tech new products, you're gonna see some glitches, and this was just a manufacturing oops that happened on some of the early models. Mine was one of the first off the line that was uh, purchased in December of 2022, and so I had this issue. You may or may not, but you're gonna to wanna to check that and make sure, and if you get two yellow lights and it's all good, then you don't have anything to worry about. I'm Scott with Trail Power, and we'll talk to you again soon.